Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by James Tracy. He's a master club fitter here. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about fitting high handicap golfers. I know a lot of the golfers that you fit, James, are not necessarily that scratch type of golfer. Uh, so obviously, it's important to understand a little bit about maybe the process and how maybe it doesn't change versus a scratch golfer and a high handicap golfer and some of the things um, those high handicappers might learn about their swing. I get the question a lot, especially if I'm just talking to people in general about fitting. I think there's this perception out there, right? I don't, I'm not good enough to get fit. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, you know, take like a Brooks Kepka, right? I don't care what set of 14 golf clubs you give Brooks Kepka, he can shoot even par with anything. Now, mm -hmm. the reason he gets fit is because the demand he has on his equipment is crazy specific. He wants every club to go with this exact ball flight mm -hmm. and go this distance and to be able to manipulate the clubs a certain way. Super preference, big preference on feel and look and all those things. That's why a tour player gets fit. Mm -hmm. uh, the high handicappers, 90% I mean, of the golfers I work with don't break 90. And that's just the reality. I think that's golf in general, right? I mean, that's, that's yeah. the average golfer. We need our clubs to help us so much more than a gifted tour player that getting fit is, is way, in my opinion, way more important for the high handicapper. Now, the process, like you mentioned, Drew, is exactly the same. I and mean, that's why we call our fitting facilities tour vans, right? Just like a tour player, the process they go through mm -hmm. to get their clubs, we want someone who shoots 95 to feel like they're getting the same attention to detail. So going through different head models, pairing the best head model with the right shaft, the right length, the right lie angle, the right grip, the right feel. The same way you would get fit as a tour player you want to be treated the same way as a high handicapper. I think where it's different is the product that you're testing. Mm -hmm. You know, you should not be playing Brooks Kepka's set if you can't break 90, obviously. Right. If you don't swing 120 miles per hour like Brooks Kepka, the shafts in your equipment don't need to be as heavy and as stiff. That, that's obvious. Mm -hmm. But the way in which you determine what suits your game the best should be exactly the same. And I think part of it that part of that's why we try to create that same experience because it's it's fun. It's right. fun to understand how your clubs complement your swing. I think the reason that a lot of golfers shoot high scores is because they're not confident. Mm -hmm. So if you never go through a fitting and you don't understand why I need a stiff flex or why my irons are oversized or why I have two hybrids as opposed to three hybrids, you know if you don't have that understanding, you're going to lose confidence in your equipment pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So I think that a fitting for a high handicap player, if it does nothing else, it at least inspires you to play better golf because you understand, you know, why this tool is designed the way it is. And if I swing it well and I hit a good shot, this club's going to reward me with a good right. result. Yeah, and I know you've talked before about how, like you mentioned, the clubs that Brooks Kepka plays are not going to be the same clubs that a 20, 25 handicapper plays. Hopefully but, not. Right, right. Uh, but I think the reason for that is that, you know, those game improvement clubs, super game improvement clubs, are packed with performance to help those golfers lower their scores versus the best players in the world that don't really need the performance in their clubs because they can supply it themselves. I think that's a really nice way of saying it. I mean, ultimately in a fitting with a high handicapper, we're really trying to make their worst strikes, their mishits, better. I mean, when you have a perfect hit in the middle of the face, you make your best swing, you're probably going to get a good result, even mm -hmm. if you're using a 20-year-old golf club. I mean, some guys do that. I mean, yeah. gals who have older clubs as well. You hit a good shot, you get a good result. But the majority, if you're shooting in the 90s or above, those really good strikes come not so often. Yeah. So in a fitting and by pairing that player with the right technology, game improvement technology, your miss hits are a little bit closer to great. Instead of being 30 yards short of the green, maybe it's on the fringe. You know, instead of being in the trees, it's just in the rough. You know, and that's gonna start to make your scores improve because your worst results are not as bad. Mm -hmm. Now, a tour player, it's different. They aren't expecting to miss. Yeah, you know, they rare want, when they do. They want their equipment on a great strike to do exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. For a high handicapper, still need to get fit, but the product and the technology that they're using in their bag is serving a slightly different purpose. And for me, it's just making all of their shots more predictable, more consistent. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the questions that we've um, received at Second Swing is, you know, like, 
when a high handicapper comes in for a fitting, they might not feel confident in their ability to hit the ball to, you know, maybe give the right data. But I think it's also important to remember that, you know, with TrackMan, you get the swing data that you're able to measure off of in addition to the data from the golf shots as well. So you're able to identify tendencies in the swing just from the swing data alone. And then obviously the performance of the shot as well is a big help. Well, I think, I think it goes back to what we're fitting for. You know, I think as a fitter, yeah, the data is nice to be able to, to show someone, hey, club A versus club B, this one's better because of X, Y, and Z, mm-hmm. right? And I think for a really good player, the numbers really help us figure out, hey, what is the best fit? For a high handicapper, it doesn't require a perfect strike and perfect data to recognize what is an optimal fit. Mm-hmm. You know, we can figure out how long and how stiff the shaft should be, whether you hit it in the middle of the face or not. We know that formula for success. You know, a player that is struggling to create really consistent data, well, I'm not gonna hand that player a club designed for a tour player. I want to hand them equipment that over time will help them develop the ability to hit the ball consistently. And so at some point, now they come back five, 10 years from now, hey, now the data is really good because you've improved. Those clubs have helped you get to that point where now you can start implementing different designs. You know, you can start using the data more intelligently. So, you know, maybe for a high handicapper, we don't dive into every single data point as specifically as you might do with a touring professional. But I think what's fun about the data is it helps us set expectations with a high handicap. They might not understand how far they should hit the ball with their clubs or maybe why their irons don't go very high or maybe why their hybrid and their five iron goes the same distance. And we can use the data to kind of educate a golfer on how their equipment does Mm -hmm. correlate with their swing a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, obviously some great information here uh, from James on high handicap fitting. I know a lot of golfers out there maybe fall into that range and aren't quite sure if a fitting is going to benefit you, but obviously this information from James has uh, provided some light on if in fact it might be more beneficial for high handicappers to get fit versus someone in that low handicap range. So James, uh, thank you for the uh, information today.